guys, it's Lexi. Today I'm here with my sister Chelsea and we're at this abandoned ghost town. So my friend Mel and my mom are also somewhere around here, but this place is absolutely massive. Right now we're in the hospital. There's also like a whole neighborhood and there's supposed to be a school too or some other big building. So yeah, this video is going to be just the hospital and there's gonna be a part two of the other building and all the houses. So yeah, let's go check it out. So there's this room right here I wanna go in. I'm pretty sure this place is going to be like gutted because it's so known. But I'm just going to walk around it still. Yeah. Just an empty room. Do I turn the light on? Just an empty room. There's like folders on each of these doors. I was in that or an office building. Oh, this is so cool. It's a little sink with the cupboards on it. Oh, and there's a soap dispenser on the wall. But yeah, see, all these doors have file folders, so this could have been. I think it's a hospital. Yeah. Seems like sinks and stuff in the rooms are too small to be classrooms, and there's multiple yeah. of them. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, definitely the hospital because this is where like the trays would be for the food. Okay, so this video is the hospital and not the school. I'll be <laughs> oh yeah, look, this would be like a first aid kit or something. Walks into place. Oh, this is cool. Filing desk. Oh, this is like the front, like desk. Oh, there we go. This is the front desk. Near the filing cabinets and the drawers and you can see the front. This is awesome. Can't let the door close or we'll be locked in. <laughs> Definitely a hospital. These look like where you would hang IV bags and stuff to hold or people like the curtains. Oh yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. The definitely curtains. a curtain rack. That makes sense. And like, I think for like X-rays or something, because this looks like an old machine. There's the old files for there. We want to hear it. Yeah, we want that one. Oh, this room has some damage to it. Old curtain there. The carpet's all fraying out. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there's even there's another curtain on the ground, so that's what these were. The soap dispensers. Yep. 
Ooh, there's another cupboard in here. With the sink. It still has the curtain on the wall too. This is definitely like a staff room. This is cool though. You can see what's in this room. Oh, perfect. Just leads to this hallway. I like how the curtains are closed. The lighting looks so cool in there. Those are broken in that room. Yeah, most of these are gutted, so like, I'm just gonna show you the rooms that have stuff, of course. Like in here, there's the old sink on the wall. Oh, that'll be easier than picking through the wall. The old sink and drawers. Just aim for right here. Head back to like the mainish area. Here's another front desk, I guess, for like the section. And we can check out the other half. promotion sheet. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Here's where all of this shelves and stuff were. I guess this is like the storage area where they would keep like all the medications and stuff. And extra equipment. These are just piled up here. I'm guessing this is like storage. So I can get access to everything quickly. And there's more in here. Here, continue the rest of the hospital. Perfect, it's open for us. <laughs> private rooms. Yeah. It just looks like there'd be four rooms because of all the curtain racks up there. These cupboards here. It's 
some more cupboards. This would be like the front desk for this section. double room because of the curtains. I'm just going off the curtain racks and how many rooms or like beds they can block off. This is really cool. This is like the one like actual like main hospital that I can actually that I've been to. Here's all the bathrooms, showers. This is like a first for me, which is awesome. I love this stuff so much, like the big buildings. Oh yeah, there's a bathtub in here. Got another bathroom, another shower. Oh, the curtain looks so cool with the light coming through. There's a little moth or butterfly flying around. I got some more cupboards and drawers. We got some more shelves here where the trays and stuff would go. the front part of this area. Just an empty room. It sounds like a room big. This is sink. Sponges. Oh, there we go. Sponges, guys. Glove name tags. Tape. Oh, I guess the store's locked, so we'll go around. <laughs> Such nice wallpaper. Minus the graffiti, like the butterflies are so pretty. possibly be an operating room because I don't see any curtain racks. Oh look at the wallpaper peeling off and all the mold. It looks like there'd be sinks here and then there's a door into the like the actual room so I'm guessing that was 100% an operating room because then they can get scrubbed up and washed up here before going in. And 
this is definitely another operating room. <laughs> I'm 100% honest. There we go. Because of all of these. That is so cool. And there's two of them here. That's awesome. Like, I could be wrong on these, so, like, if anyone knows, they can comment below. I'm just making assumptions from, like, shows that I've watched. We got a bathroom here. And that's the room we were just in. place is huge holy so this is the hallway we were in before i'm pretty sure so i'm just gonna do a quick little peek yeah so we were all the way up there before we made our way down this room is massive so i just want to check out here quickly i'm like completely lost i have no clue what this could be oh this looks like it definitely was a cafeteria because this was where they'd cook the food. Because that looks like an old oven. And an old dishwasher or something that's like stripped. And there's two bathrooms here. Just walk down. And just the door is open back there, so we want to be careful in case anyone drives by. Okay, we'll hold this. I think we'll check out this room, and we'll check out the downstairs. Whoa, this place is massive. Absolutely insane. Oh, I remember this area from Sam and Colby's video. That door that we just came out and slammed in their video. Well, that's just the hallway we were in before. So we'll make our way into here. There's a big silver thing right there, and I have no clue what that'll be. I think that leads to the middle. We're just gonna go up this hallway first, so that we don't miss anything. There's some more cupboards in here. There's another one of these little corner, I think, showers. It's an old, like, completely destroyed shelf there. Another, oh, I think this is another, like, operating room or something, because it has those things hanging from the ceiling. There's stuff everywhere, so it's so hard to be quiet. There's a little staff sign here. I guess we can just head back to the middle and I'll film again once we're downstairs. As we were walking downstairs, I came across this other room. It's like massive and has some shelves in it. There's a bathroom layer. This place is so easy to get lost in, so we're like stumbling across everything. And we're like, oh, I thought we were here, but it all looks the same. I think 
pretty close to the middle, I hope so. Oh no, probably not at all. There's just a random railing here. There's this weird little shelf here. This is like so vandalized. Oh, there's an old glass cabinet here. It's shattered, which is really cool. Which way? Hopefully this way. I think we are completely lost, I'm not gonna lie. But like that's the fun thing about exploring, get like a whole thrill from it. Well, 100%. Here's another big room. Some more cupboards and then more curtain racks and shelves there. Just want to look through here quickly. Oh, yeah, there's some more shelves in there. So, a couple of shelves here, right here, which is where I wanted to go. There's no brush on the ground. And there's some more shelves here. I don't know why there's holes in the floor. Again, if you guys know, comment below and let me know because I'd like to figure out what this place was. Oh my god, there's an old operating table in here. Okay, this is like worth it. I'm happy we got lost now. This is amazing. Never seen something like this before. Of course it's trashed, but like this is insane. This is Amazing. There's the old shelf over there. I am so happy we stumbled across this. This is so cool. Hopefully we can figure out, oh, what's in here. Oh, it says films. This is like an x-ray thing, I think. I'm guessing it's the x-ray film because it can't be exposed to light. So cool. Oh, and the exposed film goes there. This is awesome. Like, I love this place so much. Even though it's so trashed, it's still, like, amazing. Oh, there's another one in here. Which is slightly less trashed. This is definitely like the x-ray area because the measurements would go here. This is like, oh, yeah. I'm like so excited to be here right now because this is my first time seeing anything like this. Like, this is so cool. So we made our way downstairs and I found this room. It's full of stuff. So there's all of these shelves in here. I have all of this. No clue what it would be, but it's really cool. And we're gonna find some more things, hopefully. All these lower rooms have like the main shelves and stuff left. A lot less destroyed down here. This Air Force base was decommissioned in 1992 and has been left to decay ever since. There have been plans to demolish the existing structures, but the demolition has been postponed because of contaminated soil and groundwater by jet fuel. That's it for part one on this abandoned ghost town. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed exploring this place. Part 2 will be out next Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching.